Time to get on the encore. There she is. There's the Norwegian Encore. That's what we're about to get on. And then right behind her is the breakaway. Right there. Wow. It's a great view of the ships right here. Breakaway was our first Norwegian ship. Yeah. That was our very first Norwegian ship. Got us hooked. They're such beautiful ships. Let's get it on. Woo, look at Ooh. that. Encore. We're all checked in, yes, we are. ready to go. Yes, we are. We can see the ship. It's yes, right there. there. It's and cold in here. It's freezing. They've got the air on and it's like 59 degrees in Miami right now, which is cold for Miami. <laughs> Norwegian wants We're you to get freezing. the true experience. <laughs> the true Norwegian experience, like so the like country. Yeah, we're waiting for the coffee. So where's the coffee? There's no coffee. Of course, we got here very, very, very early. We did. And we're waiting in the cold. It's like really cold. Everybody's like bottled up. And it's Miami. All right, here we go. Ready? Here we go. Look, there's the breakaway too. There's the breakaway. Hi, breakaway. Hi, breakaway. Bye, breakaway. Hello, Encore. Okay, so what we are doing here is going ahead and scheduling all of our activities. We can only choose today before they fill up. Right here is the entrance to District Brew House. Yep, right here, see? But here's District Brew House. If you take a right, there are cabins. So our cabin is this way. Wow. Interesting. Yeah. So we're, this is the board of the ship. So you're down this hall entrance to district brew house. Oh, yes. And food republic. Just what I need. My own private entrance to the brew house. <laughs> 8752, here we are. Oh yes, a beautiful, familiar feeling it is. We're home! Yes we are. For the next three days. I'm excited. I'm excited. All right, so here we are in the atrium. And it's just exactly like the breakaway and the bliss. But the only difference is, it's like just got a different color scheme a bit, and it's maybe different colors and just um, decor. It's a little different, but mostly the same. The layouts are pretty much identical. Pretty cool, huh? Very cool. You happy to be aboard the ship? Oh, heck yeah. This is awesome. I always get excited when I get on a board ship. This is the new, new, new cruise ship. <laughs> Okay, so our game plan is we are in the lobby right now enjoying our water and coffee. Cheers. And I am enjoying this immensely. <laughs> and at one o'clock.
o'clock the box office opens, which is in 15 minutes, and we're gonna go make our reservations for Galaxy Pavilion at 5.30 for the go-karts and at eight o'clock for laser tag. So we'll get to do that tonight, but I'm gonna see if I can get our go-karts moved to tomorrow, because I'd rather do them tomorrow and not have to cram so much in today. So, we're gonna go to the box office and see, and after that, we're gonna go to Garden Cafe for some lunch. You want Garden Cafe or you want the local for lunch? Wow, that's a toss up. Hmm. Decisions, decisions, decisions. Welcome to a cruise ship. There's wings at the local, or God knows we what at the buffet. It. This is always fun, but I'm thinking it's always fun to hit the buffet the first time. I think so too. And I went and got a list. These are all the cabins. They're gonna be open so we can go view Yeah, this them. is gonna be cool. Yeah, so we get to view one of each type of uh, cabin. So because this is a special inaugural cruise, um, they have these cabins open for viewing. So what we'll do is we'll make, we'll record each cabin type and make a video of just all the cabin yeah, types. Kind of like a little room tour. So you'll know, yep. you know, anybody interested in those particular rooms, um, we'll have them available. That's right. All right, so it's lunchtime. We got uh, got the luggage kind of put away. Well, we don't have the luggage put away, but we get the backpacks put away in the room. It's time to eat. We got our coffee. Now it's time to eat. We got everything booked that we need to get booked. Yep, we've got um, our shows booked, Fireman and Kinky Boots. We've got go-karts today at 5.30. We've got laser tag tomorrow at 2.30. Um, it's a Galaxy Pavilion. You just show up, so we'll go try that at some point, probably tomorrow. So we're set. All right. Now it's time to eat. Here we go. Jason's washy washy. Washy washy, rinsey rinsey. Healthy, healthy, happy, happy. Okay, so it's the same exact, the Garden Cafe is the Garden Cafe. The same Garden Cafe that you're gonna have on Norwegian Bliss. Uh, breakaway, they're all laid out pretty much the same in that class. And let me tell you what. That pizza is amazing. This pizza rocks. It's so good. Yay! Happy to be here. Okay, so here the bar is at the front. It's like a joy. On the list, the bar was on the back. I like this location better. Yeah, it's in the middle here. Yeah, this is a better location. Oh, the hand scooped ice cream. So they've got the machines of the ice cream and the hand scooped. Ice cream. <laughs> we have prime rib. Oh, linguine and bolognese, Jason. Oh, that is my weakness. <laughs> All right, gotta be good because I was bad yesterday. Let's see if Jason has a car breakdown on this cruise. And uh, we got some carrots, French beans, sauteed mushrooms. We got turkey, picante with lemon, steamed vegetables, and grilled salmon. Ratatouille, vegetables, bourbon, smoked chicken, pot roast, short ribs, and garlic and leek potatoes. Here we have the soup station. So let's see. Shrimp and corn chowder here, and chicken consomme right here. And Norwegian always has good fresh fruit, like really good fresh fruit. Right. Well, I've never seen a baked potato station before. Yep, this is called the Comfort Grill. So on the Comfort Grill, there's all your uh, sour creams and toppings, french fries. Right. So you get a baked potato and put all the stuff on it. Yep, there's your baked potatoes, put all your stuff on it. Ready? And look at look at beautiful Miami. Let's take a look this is at our favorite place to get a table on this end. Look at the terminal. You can see the terminal real good. Look at beautiful Miami. This is a really good view of Miami from here. Interesting. Look at the terminal. This is different. 
This garden cafe is a bit different than the, the Bliss because these are actual windows here. Oh yeah, it was open. This is windows here on this one, whereas on the Bliss, it was open. Yeah, it was half windows and it was open. Yeah, so you could look down and hear. Yeah. You know why well, they probably did that? Because the noise from Garden Cafe then does not go down into the observation lounge, makes it quieter down there. Probably a good change. So we just got done eating our first meal here at the Garden Cafe. Aren't you proud of me? I had a salad. She had a salad. She's doing good. She's I got her pizza too. She's yeah. got the uh, Pepsi because we Diet all know Pepsi. that Norwegian doesn't do Coca-Cola products, only Pepsi. But I'm going to tell you what, it's a good fresh taste in Pepsi. Fountain drinks taste yeah. like fountain drinks. Um, the food was good. We just don't, um, I was telling Lisa, we, we were so hungry we didn't really film it. Yeah. We don't do a whole lot of filming in the Garden Cafe on the buffet because a buffet is a buffet. You know what you're going to get. Yeah. Um, so we don't do a whole lot there anymore. But one thing I noticed that I really, really liked was these chairs. Check this out. The handle, so you can grab your chair and pull it out. It's genius. It's like one of those things, it's like, why didn't they think of that a long time ago? I like it. We're going to head on out now that we're done eating and Let's go up to, well, no, we're on Lido. So we're just gonna go outside and take a couple of pictures and check out the Lido deck of the beautiful Encore. It's gonna be similar, but there are some differences. Every ship's gonna have its own little cool signature, little difference in colors and decor and whatnot, but very similar all the way out. Okay, here we go. It's a bit cold out still. That's yeah, warming up. Yep, it's warmed up. Look, I got like So outside you've got a little beverage station outside, and you've got outdoor seating, so you can go to work and they eat your food out here. All right, so the first bar up is the surf bar. There's the surf bar. Oh, we got a game on right now. So here is the Lido, and it's a beautiful sunny day. A loss of six on the play. We've got a game going on. Let's see who's playing here. Not insane. Baltimore Ravens. Houston Texans. And Houston Texans. Let's go Texans. I'm rooting for Texans. Okay, so we got some cool little statue right over here. Do you know what that is, Elisa? No, I do not. Pretty cool. This this will all be full of water and you can just kind of sit in it. It's real shallow. But they'll fill that up later, I'm sure. Of course you always got the showers. And this is where the this is where the band is gonna play. Um, and they're gonna come out and do a lot of entertainment side there. There's the water slides. But they have the loungers out because the temperature is warming up and the sun is out and we are officially cruising. Well, not officially. We haven't actually sailed away yet, but we're on the cruise ship. Close enough. So here is Waves Bar. Okay, this is on the other side. The surf bar is over there where we just came from, and here's the Waves Bar. Right here. Get you a little drink poolside here. Where to next, honey? Up the stairs. So this is why we enjoy cruising too. This is one of the coolest things about cruising, because you get to see all of this. There's beautiful downtown Miami. That's where we were yesterday at the Bayside Marketplace. We drove the thrill boats all out here and looped all the way around here. This is one of the best things about cruising, isn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. I love this. I love seeing the different ports that we sail from. I love seeing the different ships. There's quite a few ships in port today. I'm still trying to figure out what that one is across the way. I can't tell by the markings on it. Yeah. You think we'll be brave enough to do the drop slide? I thought we won't be like the skinny girl on the list that couldn't make it around. <laughs> We've both got enough weight to get through that. Jason's got muscle weight and I got yeah, weight Yeah, you, you remember we just posted a video. The the poor girl was too light. She she kept getting stuck right here, or she went. She didn't get stuck, but she couldn't make she it couldn't up make to the top. Loop. She'd get all the way up to about right there, and then she didn't weigh enough to 
<laughs> pressed it so she she would go back down. This water slide looks like a lot of fun. Because that's a big tube slide. Yeah. That's a big slide. I'd do this one no problem. Drop slide, I'm not so sure about, but this one I would do no problem. Yeah. Cool. Look at these dual hot tubs right here. And the hot tubs stick out as well. So see, railing, edge of the ship. Hot tubs stick out over the side. It's not really hot, it's like warm. I hope it gets hotter than that. <laughs> and then we are on the jogging trail. So, I've never seen where they have the dual hot tubs. No, I've never seen the dual hot tubs before. They usually have like one. Did the Bliss have dual hot tubs? I, can't remember. I don't think it did. We never got in the hot tubs. And this is the jogging trail. Jason, you going jogging? <laughs> there you jog. All right, so here's Vibe Beach Club. So this is typically an extra charge, um, and it's something that you book on board. So once you get on, if you want private access to Vibe, you uh, you go and you book it while you're on board. Let's so here we out. go, guys. Let's go fill the vibes. Mm -hmm. So when you come up to Vibe and you pay for access, it's private. They only sell so many um, slots per cruise, so it's never crowded. So you're guaranteed to get a chair. You've got the private bar up here, private hot tubs up here. And this is the biggest Vibe I've ever seen. Because typically, this side is not Vibe and it's free. And only that side is Vibe at an extra cost. So all of this is vibe now at an extra cost. I bark. Welcome to the vibe. Yeah, it doesn't typically look like this. This is some sort of private function. Yeah, this is typically uh, loaded down with loungers and clamshell uh, seating and, you know, stuff. Right. Stuff more like this. See, look over here. Oh, I like the private cabanas yeah, on you the have ship. The, you have the private cabanas on the ship. These are super nice. Look at these loungers. Got little tables here that you can use. Your own little private space. Very cool. Typically Vibe is this area that we're in right now. It's ne it's usually typically very small. And so do kind of like a, a turnaround. This right here is normally the size of Vibe. But on this ship, that whole side is Vibe and the upper deck. So let's go look at the upper deck. So this is pretty cool. Yep. Cheers! Happy cruising! Yeah. Happy cruising! Yep, look here, you got some. It's a little private area here for two. That's new. Never seen that before. Got another one right over here. So that's really neat. Oh, look, and it's Man, you could just post up right here all day. Of course, you would need a lot of sunscreen. What they need right up here is umbrellas, but it's too windy up here. It's too windy up yeah. here. So this looks like it's going to be some sort of water feature that's just not on right now. Yeah, this is some some sort of water feature, like Elisa was saying. It looks like these are jets. Up here, you're going to get hot. This is the highest level of the ship, and it's completely sun exposed. Yeah. So. Yeah, this is as high as you can get on this ship, guys. So if you like the sun, and you like to kind of get away from everybody, this is a great place to be on I the ship. What, I've never, I've never thought that Vibe would be a good investment, but on this ship, I think it would be because there's a lot more loungers, a lot more space in Vibe. In in previous ships, it was a very small space. Here, it's really you have a lot. It has a lot to offer on this ship. It really does. And I don't know what the cost of it is on this ship. I think it varies by ship. 
but I think that would be a good investment on this ship if you want that private deck space. I agree, 100%. So I found my jam, which is right here. In the shade, sun loungers. I know that sounds kind of crazy, in the shade sun loungers, but me, I burn really, really easy, so these sun loungers would be perfect. Oh yeah, I'd be all over this right here. So already, people are just posted up here on the Lido. The sun is shining. Kind of went behind a cloud just now, but it's shining, believe me. Um, it's still a little bit chilly. The wind's blowing in here. It's, mm -hmm. it's still pretty, pretty good chill in the air. Um, but if those people come up north, this school's good to them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but they got their shirts off and they are tanning and got their drinks on and watching the football game. And we're not even close to sail away or muster. Away. So they're getting their crews on right. They sure are. Whoa, look at that. Whoa. Come on, you can do it. That's why they call it the finger coaster right there. You draw it with your fingers. It's that simple. It's dessert time.